Hey guys, welcome to the 95th, yes, 95th edition of the Animated Girls Profile Confidential. We are five away, and so far we have done back to back to back today. And this one is an interesting one because I wanted to talk about this one for a while. She's one of my favorite Looney Tune characters. And the main reason being because she's associated with one of my favorite Looney Tune characters, period, male-wise. And that is Penelope Pussycat. And Penelope has had, I'll put it this way, a unique history. Now, when Peppy Le Pew got first introduced, he was introduced um, as a different character, different name. Uh, but basically his trait of going after a femme fatale skunk, you know, you know, was, uh, you know, began. Even with his first cartoon, it began. And, you know, after that, you know, after that, it just snowballed from there. Again, they had him introduced in a cartoon where he was trying to fawn over a male cat dressed, disguised as a skunk. And then we find out that he's not really French or anything. He's just like a, a Brooklyn accent or a New York accent or something like that. And he's married. He has kids. He has a wife and kids. The next time we see him is in another one where the or well basically what started in the first one really ramps up a little bit. But instead of going after a cat, he goes after a a chihuahua who is dressed as a skunk or in a skunk attire to try to get to certain areas and everything. And it kind of ends in a happy way for him because uh, basically he uh, she reveals that she you know she's not a skunk she's a dog and. He, you know, he's like, okay, you know, fine, no problem. Because he still has, like, I guess you could say the hots for her. So he basically takes off his outfit and reveals he's a dog. But then, you know, as they're embracing and he looks at the camera breaking the fourth wall, he takes off the dog's head and, be, and he reveals it's still him. Him under there and he says, are you stupid? No. <laughs> um, anyway, though, that's that's the second time. And that, epi- that cartoon is what really ramped it up. And then I think when we get into his third cartoon is when we're introduced to Penelope, and but she doesn't have a name just yet. She's not doesn't have a name just yet, and you know it just goes from there, just m- snowballs uh, from there, and basically from that third cartoon onward the formula has always been the same penelope ends up getting a white stripe down her back thanks to some paint or by doing her herself and basically peppy mistakes her for a femme fatale and chases after her and sometimes mostly it does end with him you know catching up to her or him you know being taken away or something like that by a zookeeper or something happens to where, you know, you know, he doesn't get her in the end. But then there are other times where basically the roles are reversed. Like the, that third one I talk about, she ends up, uh, basically what happens is they both fall out a window. He falls into a bucket of paint or a barrel of blue paint. She falls into uh, a barrel of freaking wine. Literally gets drunk and all that. And the roles get reversed right there. Then there's another time where, you know, Pepe basically joins the... F- French the uh, the the French Legion because you know one of the things that they would make a joke about is when someone is depressed and out of love or feels like nobody can't you know bear to be around you know anybody anymore or doesn't have anybody to love the next best thing to fulfill your life is to join the French Legionnaires so you know he ends up doing that but then he runs into uh, Penelope there. Yeah, and all that. So, um, and, and again, same thing happens with her there. You know, striped down her back. And basically when she gets exhausted from just running, because he's like, he catches up to her. It's like every place she goes, he just he's just there. So after she gets exhausted, she he takes her to a tent. And he basically what he does while she's resting is creates this, for, he puts together this, concoction of perfume of colognes and everything that's like a love potion on steroids because not only does it get 
<laughs> Penelope's attention, but it makes Peppy be like, oh crap, I overdid it, and he has to run for his life from her. Uh, the other one is the other time that the roles are reversed a little bit, but it feels like this. It feels like this is the kind of cartoon that you wanted to see. Was in was the uh, short card really sent? And in this episode or in this cartoon, Penelope called Fabaret, um, is born with a stripe down her back as a kitten. Does it mistakes her? It makes everybody, any male uh, suitor, male feline suitor, mistake her for a skunk. So she basically feels like she's not going to have anybody. In comes Peppy. And basically, you know, shenanigans go back and forth. Like, hey, you know, here's someone that's just like her. And it's like, you're thinking, oh, great, this is cool. This is, they're going to do it. But, of course, you know, she finds out Peppy's a skunk, a real skunk. And, you know, again, the chase assumes. But she does everything she can. She listens to the narrator. You know, she does, again, she does whatever she can to try to make it work. And in the end, she basically goes to, at the advice of the narrator, goes to a Limburger factory and basically gets herself drenched in, in a stink to become a skunk. So she goes from cat to skunk. And then Peppy, realizing what, what, always wondering why people were saying pew anytime he'd come around, finds out what it means related to him and, then said, and decides he's going to, you know, get rid. He's going to deodorize himself. He's going to get rid of the smell. Goes into a factory to do that, and then that's when the roles are reversed. And basically, you know, even after that, it still kind of plays out with Peppy going after her, and you know, vice versa and stuff. And it isn't until we get to like the later portions of the '80s and the '90s and even the 2000s that Warner Brothers pretty much made the decision. Yeah, let's call her Penelope. That's going to be her name. And oh, by the way, she is going to be the girlfriend now of Peppy Le Pew. It's not going to be no chasing or anything. She's going to be flat out the girlfriend, no matter what. And they roll with it. They really do. And everybody that's a fan of this character embraced embrace this decision because it's like finally what took you so long and I think what really helped was when they made her a feature character in the Casablanca spoof that they did called Carablanca and they made her a spoof character of the lead female from Casablanca because they didn't have Lola at that time so she was like cast as lead character and it was Trish McNeil Trish McNeil who did Gadget's voice was cast to voice her um, as well, so that was pretty cool. Uh, but overall, you know, Penel- Penelope is one of those characters that had quite a unique character history and development to get to the point that she's at now, um, which is really cool. She is also, I think, a playable character in some of the Looney Tunes inspired games, so that's nice to see. And you know, maybe she'll have a role. Maybe she'll be a player uh, on the Toon Squad in Space Jam A New Legacy. We don't know yet. But it'll be really interesting to see what they do with her going forward. But that's all I could say on Penelope Pussycat of Looney Tunes. Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. And thank you all for tuning in to the 95th edition of the Anime Girls Profile Confidential. Well, five away, folks. Who's next on the list? We shall find out. Oh, but until next time, God bless. Take care. I'm out.